Well, welcome back. Temperatures very seasonable across the area today. 61 is where we stand right now in Elmira, and that's the unofficial high at the airport at Big Flat. 64 in Danville, so a little bit warmer back to the north and west where there's been a little bit more in the way of sunshine this afternoon. Some thicker cloud cover to the south and east where temperatures over the Poconos right now in the mid 50s. And that's where our rain is coming from. There's an area of low pressure right along the mid Atlantic coast, and that's kind of directing some Atlantic moisture our way. Increasing chances for rain expected as we go through tonight. Low temperatures down to the upper 40s and lower 50s. A better weather day for tomorrow, though, even though we start out with some thicker cloud cover. More sunshine through the afternoon and temperatures about 10 degrees warmer than where they were today. Uh, and then we'll be looking at even warmer conditions for Thursday, actually feeling summer like here in the Twin Tiers. I'm forecasting 80, but that even may be a little conservative looking at some of the latest computer model information coming in. A low and even a few mid 80s, certainly not out of the question as we go into Thursday afternoon as a lot of warmth gets directed out ahead of an approaching cold front, which will pass through Thursday night and early Friday. For the time being, though, low pressure spinning just off the mid-Atlantic coast. There's been some terrible flooding over areas of the Carolinas over the last 24 to 48 hours, but the heaviest rain now, you can see that in the orange and the yellow, just off the coast, so that's a good place for it. But there are some showers coming up through Pennsylvania, lifting up to the north and west, and we are expecting some rain here in the Twin Tiers. But for the time being, not a whole lot falling just yet. A couple showers here over the northwestern corner of Steuben County, generally from Bath and north and west of there. And then some showers coming up through the valley over towards the Owego area. Elsewhere, just cloudy skies in place, a couple sprinkles, but the rain will fill in even more as we go through this evening as this low pressure system moves a little bit closer, but it'll head out to sea as we go through the day tomorrow. Clouds giving way to some sunshine. I mentioned that cold front back over the Midwest for tomorrow and Thursday. At ahead of this cold front, we get a nice flow of air coming out of the south and west, and that's really going to boost our temperatures uh, by Thursday. That's when we're forecasting some 80s here in the Twin Tiers. And then this cold front will actually weaken as it moves in from the west late Thursday into early Friday. There may be a shower or thunder shower associated with it, but not a whole lot of precipitation. Uh, chances for rain, though, will increase as we go through the weekend. So a couple showers around for tonight. Tomorrow morning, maybe a sprinkle as well under some thicker cloud cover, but skies will brighten a bit for tomorrow afternoon with a five degree guarantee of 72. Partly cloudy skies tomorrow night and then for Thursday, that's our warmest day out of the next seven. We'll start out with some low clouds and some patchy areas of fog, but more sunshine for the afternoon and again temperatures into the low 80s. Future track showing uh, some showers and thunderstorms off to our west late in the day. That's associated with that weakening cold front and that'll swing through as we go into Friday morning. Here's a look at that weekend forecast for you. It's not going to be a washout, but the threat for a few showers and thunderstorms both days with temperatures again about 10 degrees above average with highs in the low 70s. For today, we forecast 59. We did 61 for the unofficial high. A couple showers around tonight, 48 for a low, so it'll be a mild night tonight. 72 with partial clearing, especially by afternoon. 7-day forecast showing a beautiful day on Thursday. An isolated shower and thunderstorm Friday. They'll be uh, around for Saturday and Sunday and Monday as well. Temperatures holding in the 70s and then behind another cold front late Monday. Temperatures dropping back into the 60s by Tuesday of next week. But right through the period, overnight low temperatures above freezing. Mm -hmm. So good news for the gardeners. Of course, you're never safe until you, you get past Memorial Day, but not expecting any frosty conditions in the next week. All right. Thanks, Joe. Okay.